Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic video inside of Canva. Today, we are going to be designing a very beautiful sales poster in Canva and what you see on my screen is actually what we are going to create today. So, if you are interested in designing what you see, stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. Alright, so here we are in Canva and the first thing we are going to do is to click on create a design and we just have to search for Facebook ad, okay? So when you do that, you just have to choose the first option you see, which is 1200, yes, okay, by 6 to 8 pixels. So when you click on it, you should see something like this on your screen, okay? A blank canvas like this actually. So the first thing I want to just um, announce to you is if you are new to this channel, first of all, you're welcome. Secondly, there's a link in the description box that will lead you to a Google Drive and over there you'll find all the special elements I will be using, okay? And um, one of them is with this shadow or this gradient yeah, thing you can see. You can pause the video and find it and resume, you know, come back to continue with me. I'll be waiting for you. If you are already a fan, if you are already a member, peace out okay <laughs> all right so um let me just drag this somewhere here and what we'll do now is to change the background color so we click on our background come to the colors and we'll choose you know a brighter yellow orange sort of okay so something like this the color code is ff9900 okay so that's what we're going to use then we come with our gradient shadow sort of so we center it okay then i press out okay and click any of the corners and drag so you can see nice one so this is what i have here what we can do now is to change the color of this we don't want it to be black okay so to do that we come to effects and in effect we come to dual tone which is two tones dual tone so yeah that's um, what it simply means. I just hope I'm correct. So there are so many options over here, but we'll just choose any of them and um, double click so that you can see these options. All right. Now with these um, things, we are going to change all these colors. You know, we are going to use the same color code for both. So we come to the highlights, click on the plus and maybe let's choose a brighter color. So something like this, which is FFB800. I select all of it and I copy then I come to the shadows click on the plus and select all and paste okay so you can see how it's looking right now then we click on apply okay so now that we have done that the next thing we want to do is to come to elements all right and in element we are going to search for this thing called the half tone so we are half tone circle element then you just have to search and you should see some cool things so we will come to graphics and in graphics you can see there are a lot of them so um depending on the version of canva you are using you should see um just try and pick out the free version of them there, there should be some free elements in there so we we'll make this bigger okay and i can even maybe come and add you know this one also so i select both of them and make them bigger then i can center it over here and to change the colors i'll have to do it individually so i select the first one and let's see how it's going to look mm. okay so you can use a darker or a, a different color for it so that we can be able to see whatever we are doing it should be yellow sort of okay so this is fine so ffb800 okay then i select the second one and i use the same color code for it so i can paste it here and then um, i just select okay so this is what we have right now you can see it's looking very light but that's how we want it to be okay so i'll make this bigger the second one also i'll just make it bigger okay and i come to position okay so it's already centered and middled and i select the one behind position okay it's also the same so you can see what we've been able to do right now okay so with this um shadows or yeah the shadow we added earlier if it's not enough for you you can just duplicate and send it to the back and duplicate you know and send it to the back okay 
Yeah. So that's what we have at the moment. Then you can locate your um no your half tone circle and just make it more with anyhow you want to have it okay but just make sure that you're not adding it too much else it makes it look it doesn't make it look too nice okay now we come to text and in text we just click on add a heading okay so what we are simply going to say is mega so i choose this one for now and i make it bigger okay so now that i've made it big i am going to position it here and i will rotate it slightly so this is how i'm going to rotate it okay so just make sure you also rotate your slightly if you actually want that okay it shouldn't be too much because once it's too much it wouldn't really look um nice okay so just some slight rotation and i just drop it here then i can duplicate this one and also bring it here and this would be C O S A L E. okay and after i do that i just you know click away and select the seal and center it okay yeah nice one so what we have to do is to click and hold shift and select this one and center it okay so then we come to colors and change the color to white all right so now this is what we are going to do we come to the mega we come to effects and in effect we have the echo okay so we're going to choose the echo and the color we can come and choose you know any of these colors we use but you can see it's not really visible so we can come here and adjust the colors to make it something beautiful okay so this is um it's just close to red ff 3 d 0 0 yeah ff 3 d 0 0 <laughs> okay then um yeah i think everything is, is looking cool maybe let me just copy the color code that's what you have to do so i come to the plus and copy okay then we come to the seal come to effects and choose the echo okay then come to color and click on the plus and paste the color code so this is what we have at the moment so select both of them i want to make them a little bit bigger okay so yeah we make it bigger and i'll click away so that i can just come back and position them well so this is what we have at the moment now the next thing we are going to do is to come to element in element we'll just search for banner okay and we'll just select this banner right and bring it down here so i don't want the outline so i just make it the same color so you can just choose um, a blue color for both of them right so this is the same color because we do not want uh, the outline okay so click on your banner and rotate it to match um you know the rotation of your text okay so when you do that just bring it to the bottom over here and select all your text and we'll move it up more right then we'll add another text over here so i press t on my keyboard and i drop it down and i can just say end end of season okay not see soon okay but season then we also rotate it slight not too much if your canvas is also messing up like mine very slow just take your time okay so because these things um usually happen so you can just rotate it slightly okay slightly to match your design all right then i make it bigger then i select everything over here come to color and make it white okay so now that i've made it white i would want to use my arrow key to position my text you know nicely then click away the next thing we are going to do now is to um, add some interesting elements around okay so to do that we first of all come and search for circle okay so circle then you choose this circle over here and we'll just make it small okay and i'll move it here so with this i'm simply going to um duplicate and just spread them okay across and um, another thing you can even do is also to um, randomize the size so you can just be adjusting the size based on how you you want it so some can be a little bit bigger some can be a little bit smaller it all depends on what you want okay do this more and maybe position this here i can make this one a bit bigger 
okay then i can come to this one over here and make this one also like very big and um and move it here then you know something like this looks fine to me so i can choose this and make the color blue and this one can also be blue and uh, yeah i think it's fine i like it like this which is occur then we come to this one also i choose this uh, outlined um, circle make it smaller nice one then i can also spread this across so this can also be here and let me change the color also to white and i can duplicate it bring it down here duplicate you know just spread them across like i mentioned earlier so you're just spreading these things it's like spreading the love and joy across the world <laughs> that's what we are trying to do here okay nice one now we have now we have this okay what we would love to do is to add some lines so i press l for line come to the style choose the dots okay then to the weight okay we can make it um let's say something like three okay well, i think three is too much so let's leave it to five okay then reduce the you know the length of this line okay and we'll just duplicate the line and this is what we are going to do add enough lines so you can add about four lines okay and i duplicate it again to four then i select all of them so to select all of them hold shift and select the remaining lines okay so select 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 okay then make the color white after you do that come to position and you choose the vertical or the tidy up so with arrange everything nice then you group them okay nice one there so now we can also you know just rotate this one slightly it was seven degrees okay so you just have to take your time and make sure your rotation matches what you've done so far then we also do the same thing duplicating and spreading the lab across the entire design okay so like i said duplicate and just spread it across and i bring this one also here and i bring this one maybe here somewhere and maybe bring this one here it depends on what you want and there's a last element i want us to use okay and um, with this element what we are going to do is to come here and search for 3d triangle okay so you can see this is the one i want and i will rotate it okay. i want everything to be pointing the mega seal so i will rotate my triangle to somewhere like 45 degrees okay and i'll just move this one up a little bit or let me just move it up here so that my triangle can take this um, position okay so now we have to change the colors of this triangle so the first color which is this blue we click on the plus and if you are using the canva app okay you will have this color picker but if not you'd have to adjust and make sure the colors you're choosing gets to match okay so maybe with the red but it will be brighter i understand which is ffc ff5c00 that's the first color you can use and the second color which is going to be the bottom over here let's see which color we can also use okay so this is ff4500 and the third color okay we can click this come to a yellow and let's see okay so this is ff7800 all right all right now rotate it more duplicate it and i'll make this one smaller i'll make this one smaller and i can also flip it okay so flip it yeah flip it this way and maybe position it somewhere here okay then i can duplicate it bring this one here and let me see if the flipping would help okay then maybe i also drag it up so that rotate not drag okay rotate it up like this and with this i can change the colors also so we use the blue okay so blue and i click, click on the plus and i choose 
okay so let me first of all copy this blue okay then come to the second color over here you use the same color code but you use another version of the blue and the third color which is um you know this orange over here you can use another um, version of the same blue you understand so this is how everything is going to look like so you can just do this and duplicate make it smaller move it to the top over here and we use the flip icon the flip option not icon okay so we flip it yeah and make it okay then make it bigger a little bit so this is what we have been able to do inside of canva and i hope um, we found this helpful so maybe what we can do is um, with these circles we can make this one maybe red for an example okay so red uh, and maybe this one can also pick you know based on the colors we've used so far that's all we are trying to do just to make sure everything is blending and working together okay with harmony so this is what we have been able to do in order to make sure we do not conflict ourselves let's select all of the shadows over here we group them and we lock them okay so that it's now easier for us to select you know all the elements we have over here so i select this i can reduce the transparency okay. make it lighter select this one also reduce the transparency okay and do the same for this one reduce the transparency select this and also reduce the transparency and yeah i think it's looking very interesting okay i hope you enjoyed designing this with me today and i enjoyed doing this together with you i don't know if you also did the same and with this anytime you are running the promo you can do something like this it can be a banner to you know let your people know your audience know that you're running some sort of sale or promotion or anything like that and yes the name is benjamin and i would love to see your version of this you can share it with me on instagram i would really love to take a look at whatever you are able to do always remember there is no limit to creativity and i will see you in my next video